It's Wednesday the 18th of April. Something I did notice today which was lovely is that they're in here very tiny little things and I don't know if my camera will focus on it but those little green bits and there's another one there those are carrot seedlings coming up yes hooray and there's some more over there that on the other hand is a potato because there were potatoes growing in here last year and it's obvious that there are a few that I didn't manage to get the little tiny ones out of the ground and they're regrowing and I'm quite happy for them just to grow to be honest they can they can grow away it shouldn't be too much of a problem there's another one there um, and here underneath this netting these hooray Oh, I am pleased about these. These are beetroot seedlings. So they look like they're starting to come up too. There's another one there. In fact, there's several all over the place. And this next bed was where I was growing, where I'm growing potatoes. And rather than earthing them up, I've put this black weed suppressing membrane down. And every now and then I see a little lump like this one um, and that's where a plant is now growing up from underneath so what I've been doing today is cutting holes small holes in the black plastic and pulling the shoots through and then they'll grow away and bit by bit as they arrive I'll I'll keep on cutting them there's a couple I've done down here as well I'll keep on cutting small holes letting the shoots grow up through and then the idea is, is I won't need to earth it up because the membrane will do that job. And what I think I might do is once I've cut a hole for every single plant, once there's all the potato plants are showing, I might just put a layer of wood chipping over it just to exclude any light that might get through that weed suppressing membrane. And also it just stops it looking quite so ugly, which is probably more to the point. And in this bed, well, this is the peas and beans and mange too. Well, the mange too are doing fine and the broad beans are doing fine but as yet I haven't seen any sign of any peas so I'm going to leave it another few days but I think if there aren't any by next weekend I'll be re-sowing the peas because it would be a shame not to have any and while I'm just showing you the different beds the cover on the parsnips has stayed on okay there are a few small little holes but that's fine and and then at this end the broad beans and the onions that have regrown after the ducks nibbled them well these are looking very healthy they went in as very small plants and they've got a really good colour and really healthy growth so I'm delighted about that so I just want to show you oh cherry blossom on the little tree this is one of the little trees we bought from a supermarket for £4.50 uh, <laughs> and it's taken uh, it's really happy it's settled in and I'm delighted well it very much looks like some people have made themselves at home So these little chickens were moved here about 36 hours ago from their own place and <laughs> because there's so many of them they're kind of bunched together and, uh, and just enjoying each other's company but it also means that they're getting left alone by the older chickens and they're not picking on them um, in the way that they might do if there was just one or two of them. In the nesting boxes today we've got Auntie Maple who will sit there for a couple of hours doing a very good impression of laying an egg and then when she's finished sitting there she'll get up and do the very best I've laid an egg noise you can hear and uh, and there won't be any egg there 
So she's been with us for about five, six weeks now, and um, about five weeks now, I guess, and hasn't laid a single egg yet. There she goes, broody girl. There she is, this broody old girl. She <laughs> she just chooses a box and, box and then she goes into it and she squashes herself down flat as a pancake. And a bit of me thinks we should just give her some eggs to hatch. That wasn't a terribly dignified entrance, but there we go. So any second now, she'll settle down. There we are, so she's all fluffed out. And then she'll, she'll squash down as though she was covering eggs. This is about her fourth day of doing this now, so I think if she stays in a trance for the rest of the day, we might have to think about popping her into a into a house of her own and let her hatch some eggs. Because it won't be doing her any good just keeping on being broody. Um, and I've been trying to break her broodiness, but I haven't succeeded so far. These little chicks. Oh, I've woken them up. They were fast asleep. Just enjoying a bit of sunshine. So these are the ones that we moved into their new space yesterday or the day before. I can't remember now. Must have been the day before. And they, they certainly seem to be settled in, enjoying their their added space. So what they've got is uh, something that's six metres, so 18, 19 feet uh, by about seven feet. It's half of this large run. They're quite close to the house, so we can keep a good eye on them. And I think, I think they're looking all pretty healthy and happy. If you're enjoying my videos, please uh, leave a comment or press the like button, share us on social media, and of course, don't forget to subscribe.